I want to speak about this fun boy coon, Mark Robinson, Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. He made some inflammatory statements on a porn platform called Nude Africa years ago that have now come back to bite him on the ass. He tried to defend his honor and his namesake, but you can't really defend your honor and your namesake when they got the receipts of this. They got the text message that he put out on his site. This Mark Robinson referred to himself as a black perv and a black Nazi, insane. But the most inflammatory these statements that he made to me is, I quote him saying, slavery isn't a bad thing. Some people need to be slaves. I wish they bring slavery back. I certainly buy a few insane. Where the hell they do that at? And this is a black man saying this who clearly wants to be white. This is why I always say blackness is predicated on the double entendre. The mind and the physicality of being black got out of line. Because you can have a black skin, certainly, but not have a black mind. The nerve of this Sam Bold Coon sell out to say something like this. He clearly has self-hatred and wants to be white, if you ask me. Then I've seen some video floating around where Donald Trump is trying to compare this same guy, Mark Robertson. And it's so disrespectful, if you ask me, to our great foundational black American brother, Martin Luther King Jr., I quote Trump in saying in regards to Mark Robinson, this is MLK on steroids. I think he's better than MLK. This is Martin Luther King Jr. times two. Leave one of our great heroes and soldiers alone, Donald Trump. You speaking on something, truth be told, that you have no right or no place to even be speaking upon. Because you for sure as hell not like us. And this Mark Robinson ain't nothing but a black court jester, if you ask me. He just a tool being used by the dominant white society in a toolbox. This Mark Robinson couldn't hold a candle up to our great Martin Luther King Jr. Truth be told, he couldn't even tie his shoestring. And something interesting that Kamala Harris brought up to Donald Trump in that whole debate that they were having. But let me first start out in saying that I'm by no means back at Harris nor taking up for her. But she did bring up something interesting and make an interesting point that Trump and his father racially discriminated years ago to potential black applicants for their housing. Trump never addressed this neither during a debate, but he looked over it as if to say, yeah, I done it, but I don't give a damn. So therefore, I ain't going to answer it at all. Trump said years ago in his own words that the case was settled with zero with no admission of guilt. The Justice Department obtained a settlement for Trump management, and Trump management promised not to discriminate. But this doesn't necessarily mean that they guilty or innocent, but that it was in their best interest to settle this thing before it goes to court. From some information I gathered upon doing my homework on this thing. So I know Trump and his father was discriminating against black potential renters. There's certainly a lot of anti-black racism that exists within the roots of the Republican Party. And they black members aren't even exempt if you ask me. For evidence of this, all we need to do is go back and look at this Mark Robinson, who clearly has a hatred of self. But the Democratic Party, Biden and Harris ain't no better neither, and they ain't off the hook because they practice benign neglect against foundational black Americans and turn the blind eye and ear to our interests and needs and act as if they don't even hear us at all. And they neglect our demands, such as reparations, which is a dead old. And truth be told, America must and will have to atone for it. And they turn around the Democratic Party I'm still talking about and bury our needs and interests under all this mass immigration that they flooding us out with. And this is a form of anti-black racism as well on the part of the Democratic plantation. See, Democrats are that quiet racist that practice their anti-black racism and do little slick, underhanded things behind the scenes. But the Republican Party is that loud, outspoken racist who makes it be known that they don't like no black people. Both of which are branches off the same tree. See, with me, I'ma always give it to the FBA family straight, no chaser. And I say we sit this one out because neither party got our interests as foundational black Americans in mind. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.